on everybody? <clears throat> it's your boy to give you guys a review for Basketball Wives Season 7, Episode 8, False Claims. I know I'm back. I know y'all can actually see me this time. But well, one, y'all know y'all doing this, like I said, my fans and everything. I point over there and then kind of like move everything. It's going to be a situation, so we just want to deal with it. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of got everything set back up. So yeah, you guys can see me now. <laughs> so... <clears throat> Alright, so we pick up where we left off and pretty much with the girls uh, arguing over uh, what Tammy just said. They pretty much ended, go outside. Shawnee is pretty much over talking about the uh, situation as a whole. Then you have Evelyn, she feels that she deserves an apology. Tammy says, well... You're not my friend, no, do you want to be my friend? And I feel that I owe my friend an apology. And Evelyn's like, oh, so you only apologize to your friend. And it, it's one of those where, though I can kind of see where she's getting at, where it's just like, if, you know, if you're wrong, you know, you should just apologize. But there have been countless times that Evelyn has been wrong and she don't do apologies. So it's just like, so you feel as if you deserve one. But at the same exact time, you want... Tammy to give you an apology, but you don't want Joffrey, the giraffe, to give you an apology. Okay. Anyway. Tammy leaves. Ellen is distraught. You know, don't bring about domestic, domestic violence. Don't do that. Don't do that. Y'all heard how I felt about it. And with this review... And since I've already uh, watched the uh, next episode, so I'm literally doing that right after this, I'll talk a little bit about why I still stand in my shit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, like, when you go on that war with somebody, all fucking gloves are off. It is what the fuck it is, but we'll get there. You got Malaysian Jackie. They're talking. And um, you pretty much have Jackie saying, like, this is some... This is a Miami shit. This ain't, you know, pretty much this ain't got nothing to do with us. And I'm looking like, I am glad, you know, she fucking said that. Understand that, yes, this is a Miami thing. Let these Miami girls deal with their Miami issues. Don't sit here and put yourself in shit you don't need to put, you don't need to put yourself in. And Malaysia is pretty much saying that she's looking at Joffrey sideways, you know, to know that you fed me this information with the intent of wanting me to go back and you know be the messenger to where I would sit here and I would accept the bullshit I'm like yeah, yeah sort of kind of yeah she was pretty much low key gonna fade your park show ass where she was trying to give you the battery so you can go back and say and she was gonna sit there and just let you look stupid so whatever so now we got Joffrey and Evelyn I'm trying to figure out why the fuck they still talking why is Joffrey I know it's Jeffrey the giraffe but I'm just saying Joffrey why is Joffrey in uh, her house and why is she being fed I'm trying to figure this out but I don't know but you know of course a rehashing is going on and then you hear Evelyn say that she when the situation between her and Chad happened, she went and she was hiding at her neighbor's house. Keep that in mind because I'm going to revisit that at the very end. But Evelyn wants to use this entire situation for good and is going to have a fundraiser for domestic violence awareness. And I feel so bad because here's the thing, I'm, I'm going to keep it all 100 with you. Straight up, Tammy gave all the asses a motherfucking storyline. The majority of them. Because, I mean, real talk, if you removed Tammy from this whole entire fucking situation, this fucking season would have been fucking garbage because nothing would have happened. Nothing would have came of this. So, low-key, Tammy has given, you know, some of these girls a fucking storyline so they can actually keep their damn lights and shit on. At the same exact time, I feel bad for Tammy because... You also just gave Evelyn a way to sit here and swerve this on you because, yeah, she, Evelyn's going to take every opportunity to use this to make you look bad. She's definitely going to do that because that's what the fuck she's doing right now. So you have CC Malaysia and Jackie, 
and uh, Kristen to have a sit down. Now, the intent is for CC and Kristen to have a sit down. Malaysia obviously it obviously is the mediator, and I mean I really don't know exactly why Jackie's there, but to be honest, Jackie and Malaysia don't have an issue with either girl. Well, in walks Christian, Kristen, and she has um, Joffrey with her. So now it's just like okay, hold the fuck on, what the fuck we doing? Now Kristen brings up, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, well, when they sat down. Uh, Kristen uh, Joffrey it was whole you know big sis little sis you know this is my support system and it's like why do you need a support system especially when Malaysia's family CC is supposed to be family what do you need a support system for if you two are going to iron out y'all's differences see that was some fuck shit and that right there lets you know that Joffrey was in her motherfucking uh, head in the ear talking shit so Kristen loosely paraphrases what uh, CC said. Now, what CC said is, you know, because Kristen, was, like, I didn't write what both was because I ain't got time for it. But Chris was pretty much like, how about I go to your job? How about I go to their job? And then we can see. And she did specifically say Kristen because she pointed at Kristen and there's a reason for that. Well, Chris was like, well, you said because we ain't got jobs. And I was just like, okay, we can sit here and do process of elimination, inferring all of the stuff, semantics, but she never once said that. But CC whole thing is, <laughs> I said what I said because my job keeps getting brought up, what I do for a living. And I mean, here's the reality. She doesn't have a fucking job, so why the fuck is Kristen in her motherfucking bag again? Has motherfucking, um, what's the girl name? Joffrey in her ear. And I'm pretty sure Joffrey didn't know about this. So you're sitting here taking private conversations between you and your supposed family to some heifers that don't like her. The same heifers that try to sit here and shit on you saying that, well, you knew it was a joke. Why didn't you tell her it was a joke? But I fucking digress. But CC says she feel like in that instance, at the way party, you wanted me to go back in for me to take more bullshit. She was like, no, I just want you to, you know, the finish. She was like, no, you wanted me to go back in there to take more bullshit. Now, if y'all look at this from a reality TV show perspective, yeah, what storyline does Kristen have? Not a one. But yeah, I can use her as storyline. Let me sit here and draw her back in to keep some more shit up. And at the same exact time with me doing that, I can look good to these heifers over here that really don't give a fuck about me. But what the fuck ever. So, Kristen says she doesn't want to get put in situations looking dumb running after her. And my thing is, who the fuck told you that you need to run after her? That's something that you chose to do. And again, it's one of those where it's like... After this particular segment, this little piece right here, I am probably not going to feature uh, Kristen anymore because I'll uh, fuck her and her baby wavy hair. Just say. Um, let me see. Cece says she uh, was done with uh, Tweedledum and Tweedledumber calling her dumb. And Jim was like, well, who are you referring to? And what really got me, Kristen, because uh, I wrote it down, Kristen tells her, no, not yet. The fuck you mean no not yet so it's like okay so y'all already had like a pre-planned attack that y'all finna sit here and do on CC and that's some fucked up shit right there on some, on some real shit though like I like CC you know say what you want to say about her but real talk like cause here's the thing I got family's family I say it all the motherfucking time just because we related don't fucking mean we family point blank in the motherfucking period I'm not finna sit here and hold on to these ideals of quote unquote family and have all this bullshit going on, all this pain, heartache, turmoil, all this other shit just to sit here and say this person, my fucking family, miss me with the motherfucking bullshit. We might be blood, we might be blood, we might be related, might be all that shit. That ain't what the fuck makes us family. Family don't do shit like this. Nah. Anyway. What the fuck we at? Uh, 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 uh. So, CC says that the two girls that spread the rumor ain't apologize. And there's the whole way it was just like, okay, made a joke, and you and you're behind another rumor, 
And I got mad because, cause, well, Jennifer's like, oh, I'm sorry, I said, I thought about a real name. Joel was just like, you know, shut the fuck up. And then you have Jack was like, oh, that's so noble. You know, you need not be talking about that. Jackie, you, you need to shut the fuck up. Now, let, let, let them handle this motherfucking shit. I got it. It involves a motherfucking executive producer. But look. I'm he I was here for, you know, CC, you know, trying to sit here, snatch, gather, and conquer. I, I was here for it. I really was. And then, you know, Jackie trying to sit here and fuck shit up. So, man, man. Anyway, and it actually doesn't help that I'm actually sitting here sipping on some wine under these hot-ass lights and them motherfucking fans over there. It's hot as fuck. Anyway, let me see what else we got. Uh, And then Joffrey dropped the bomb. And was like, well, Kristen, didn't you say that y'all weren't really friends like that anyway? And that right there should have been indicated to Kristen. Just like, yeah, you, she ain't even know your motherfucking side right now. And she was like, no, I just said that I realized that it was more surface. And and at the same exact time, CC, you should see this heifer for her words. I'm just saying. You got OG and Tammy. OG talking about a uh, loneliness relationship. And that neither one of them want to compromise you. Like, it's always the woman that moves. And my thing is, I've done a long distance relationship. It uh, definitely isn't easy. I will admit in the situation that I, I was in and for my current circumstances, she would have had to have moved, unfortunately. Because by virtue of my job, I just can't up the fucking leave. But it's one of those where if there's no compromise, well, I mean, it is what the fuck it is. But I... Do, yeah, I'll talk about them a little bit more in a minute. Um, Tammy says they should go on a double date, which is something she doesn't do. I don't know if I believe that, but okay. And she says she would give her the lowdown on Kwame. You got CC and uh, Jackie. CC feels that Kristen is blinded and wants her to open her eyes. And even saying, you know, kind of like, <clears throat> who is this new Kristen? And I'm like, no, I think this is who Kristen really is. But at the same exact time, you know, even... If and when she does over her eyes, again, I'm the forgiving but not forgetting type. And my thing is like, oh, okay, you see this motherfucker fake words, cool. But still stay your ass over there. Because, again, if you want to sit here and send me the real for some motherfuckers that you really don't fucking know, I don't need you know it close to me. But, again, that's me. Um, <clears throat> Let me see. Jackie rehashes um, the blow up and um, that happened with all the other girls. And... She reorganized the events differently than how they were played. Because the way that it was played, it was played that Tammy said, you lied about Chad. And then <clears throat> it was all the weight jokes and everything. But the way that Jackie told it to uh, Cece was all of the fat, I'm sorry, all of the weight jokes and everything came. And then after that, is when uh, Tammy said what she said about Chad, which I believe that's more how it happened, and I'll explain it in a, in, in a minute. Hopefully, I don't forget. If I do forget, I'll definitely mention it when I boot up for the second uh, <clears throat> video for Basketball Wives. So you have OG Tammy, Reggie, and Kwame. They um, had a little double date. Kwame says that you know they're just having fun. You know, he's trying to be a better boyfriend. Tammy brings up what's their infidelity. And OG talks about the whole social media thing. Him liking liking comments and being all up in the comments. And then if he gets a whole lot of likes, you know, he getting big headed and shit. And, you know, she's her, he, she's his first real girlfriend and all this other shit. And it's just like, okay. Either you, I don't know, like, I partially feel maybe she has, uh, like, low self-esteem. Like, maybe this is, like, the first real guy that really show her some interest. I don't fucking know, but I don't know how old she is. But this ain't the time to be sitting here having fun with the motherfucker. I mean, you have fun in your motherfucking 20s. I'm just saying. But that's that's a con that's another conversation for another fucking video. Anyway, you got Evelyn, Chris, and Shawnee at Evelyn's event. Shawnee mentions that, you know, she's not fucking with Joffrey anymore. It just is what it is, you know, and even brings up the rumor. And Kristen is not aware of this. And now Kristen is kind of starting in my mind to look at Ginger's a little bit sideways. But she should have been looking at she should have been looking at Joffrey sideways when Joffrey sat there and said, but I thought y'all I thought you said y'all wasn't friends like that right there should have been it. But again, I, I, I it's, it's stupid. 
Anyway, so um, Evelyn says she hopes that Joffrey will learn from this and they can move on. And I'm like, so you hope that she can learn from this, learn from putting out a rumor that could have affected <clears throat> both you and Shawnee, but you're not willing to say the same exact thing for Tammy. But okay. All right. Shawnee leaves before Joffrey gets there because she realizes that, okay, well, Joffrey's on the way. Joffrey gets there and said, oh, well, I hope I didn't run her away. Where it's almost like she's happy about it. And then she's just like, you know, bit like, bitch, I'm not going to keep kissing your ass. And I'm just like, oh, so Shawnee's a bitch now. And then she's like, I have receipts. And I'm just like, okay. It's so funny that we get to this point. And I think... Because y'all remember what happened with uh, Brandy and Shawnee. But I think they knew that they were at the end of taping, for the most part, for that particular season. So she was able to say, thank you for your services. I think that Shawnee knows that at this particular point in filming, they still had more filming to do because they didn't have enough for a whole fucking season i think that's the only reason that she did not get rid of jennifer at that exact fucking moment but okay she a bitch all right so and one thing i also forgot to mention is when tammy was not Tammy when jackie was talking to cc she did mention that you know with everything that went on with tammy you know that she needs to bring her to the carpet which i'm here for like you know that's what friends do if you feel that your friend, you know, is wrong in a situation, you know, that's what friend, that's what real friends do. That's what family do where I'm going to call you out on your bullshit. Now, I'm going to try to do it away from everybody the fuck else because it ain't for everybody else to hear. But I'm going to let you know that you're wrong because that's what real friends and what real family do. Now, if you if you have a motherfucker that's going to hold you up in your bullshit, then that's just a yes man. And you don't need those people around you. Think I'm lying. Think about the fucking Logan Paul situation. I'm just saying. Anyway. So Tammy says that, you know, she didn't know all of them were going to be there when they had a little uh, Ponderosa sit down. She didn't know. So that right there, she was already guarded. And then she said, well, Evelyn started with me, which that is the truth. Evelyn did start with her because Tammy wasn't even talking to Evelyn. She was talking to Shawnee. And then Tammy talks about, you know, and then, of course, um, Jackie brings up all of what was said and even with the beginning of the next episode when they kind of do their little recap before they get into the intro and then the actual episode the way that that played was the comments that Evelyn said to Tammy and then Tammy said you lied about Chad so with all that being said again I still stand by me saying all is fair and fucking love and war the fucking gloves are off but at the same exact time this further validates what the fuck i'm saying and i and i get it because sammy even says in here like you know you can only take but so much and it was so much coming at me and you know like i've been the big bitch i've been this i've been that you know i support all these women you know i try to be their friends in spite of and all that has happened is that i've been shitted on and you have a lot of people just like well that's your fault but again i mean she came on trying to secure a bag and whatnot, trying to be friends with the other women because I'm pretty sure that is what Shawnee wanted was for her to sit here and try to be friendly with some women that did not want to be friendly with her. And even when, you know, Evelyn, you know, went on to bigger and better things and, you know, Joffrey, I don't know what the fuck Joffrey went off to, but she was over there, you know, doing her little live all shit and, you know, dating our big hip, you know, Tim shit. But, you know they're all gone and when shawnee needed somebody to come back and br and breathe life into basketball wise la who did she call she calls tammy and then with tammy being back made it easier to bring in the fucking miami women like come on now so tammy ain't been nothing but a motherfucking rider and at the same exact time i hope tammy can look and also understand that you know shawnee ain't your motherfucking friend either and pretty much is what Tammy saying that you know what she feels that she probably shouldn't have said she probably shouldn't have thrown Evelyn's truth back in her face because she even said that had the uh, neighbors not called the police 
Evelyn said, because her and Neville had a talk, Evelyn said that they would probably still be together. And at the same exact time, that goes back to when Evelyn was talking to Jen, saying that, you know, she was hiding at the neighbor's house. So it was one of those where it seems like, I mean, one, I already believe that Tammy wasn't lying, but I'm really inclined to believe that Tammy ain't lying about this shit, but... Whew, we'll see. <clears throat> and it's also crazy that even right now, you know, you have Evelyn and uh, Shawnee on a fucking vacay and whatnot, and Tammy ain't nowhere to be seen, but I hope Tammy see this and understand that, you know, Shawnee ain't never been your motherfucking friend, but that's all I got. Y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. You know, we can agree or disagree. It is what it is. Like I said, you can cuss me the fuck out if you want to. All that I ask is, with everybody else in the comments, just be respectful to each other. Y'all can say what the fuck you want to say to me, but just be respectful to each other. With that being said, stand by, and I'll be back for uh, episode 9. Peace.